Hello, everybody, and welcome to your first intake video for quantum fitness. If you are listening to this video or watching me right now, you have registered uh, and gone through an intake process to go through an intensive one week quantum fitness um, experience. It is quite intense, definitely physically, emotionally, and chemically. And so we have a protocol that we'd like to uh, work for kind of like a pre and then a post opportunity to really align yourself to who you are going to be afterwards. And what is that? Just to recap, I know a lot of you already know this now, but when you're going through a biohacking process with quantum fitness, you are not just going to be changing your body. You're going to be changing your mind, you're going to be changing your past. You're going to be changing your neural pathways, which is your automatic behavior. Your habits are going to change, right? Um, your desires are going to change, not in a bad way. Uh, and your ability to manifest your reality is going to change quite abruptly. And I'll tell you why. So what we're working with here is the entire system. This really is, I would say, the future of quantum medicine, because it's not alternative medicine where we're kind of bringing in more like woo-woo or ancient only, where we're not just working with quantum technologies. We're bringing every ounce of your bridge together because you are both physical and non-physical. So we want to incorporate the biohacking principles on both of those aspects of you. So the physical part of you is the, is the body. It's the blood, it's the bone, it's the marrow, it's the cells, it's the tissue, it's the molecules. It's everything that makes up the physical representation of who you are. It is also the house that houses the more etherical part of you, the, uh, the infinite and eternal self, the part of you that is nothing really but love and connection that part of you that will remain once this vehicle is no longer in use, okay? So taking in consideration that you are, you know, you are kind of playing this dual role in this physical reality, it lets us, it, it lets us work with all the aspects of you. And instead of creating a separation between the soul and the body, really working to bring that unity back to self because the body is much more capable than you believe it is. It is also much, 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 much stronger than you think it is. It is also more resilient and willing to heal than you might believe it is. Now, when we are sitting in a body that has not been allowed to be itself, not been allowed to, to think and feel and express and do and say, and go, then it naturally begins to shut down and create blockages that will help you create a pause of the spirit that wants to go 150 miles an hour towards the yes. So your body is, is listening to everything that you are feeling. And it is creating a reality within itself that is either a infinite abundance of flow that allows you to express and demonstrate spirit through the embodiment, or you're sitting in a body that is not very capable of acting out or moving or creating or doing or speaking what its truth is, okay? And that's gonna be based and determined on what your level of pain and pain to me is described as trauma. It's, it's described as abandonment. It's described as rejection. It's described as, you know, not feeling deserving or worthy or intelligent or, you know, not feeling like you look the part of, of how you feel and all of those things taken into consideration that create blockage points in the physical body. That blockage point in the physical body is going to slow the spirit down even more from expressing itself through you, okay? So at a very young age, we work in the principles of the seven-year cycles. The first seven years is where your core belief systems are created through the awareness of your family. It is, you know, what you're allowed to do, what your position was in your family, you know, what, um, you know, what you're allowed to say, how you were told to think, 
where did you live? How did you live? You know, and what was the relationship between your parental guidance and between the relationship of your parental guidance and you? All of these things are what makes a very malleable brain very solid. Okay. And so when we're talking about the brain, we've got the left brain and we've got the right brain. And the left brain is all about the logic. It's the analytics. It's the science. It's the truth. It's the black. It's the white. It's the, it's the right. It's the wrong. It's, it's action, right? It's doing its foundation, its structure, its blueprints. Okay. And the left or excuse me, the right side is the creative flow. It's the color. It's the music. It's the sound. It's the vision. It's the inspiration. It's the ideas. It's the imagination. It's all of the fluid essence of who you are. And in your brain, right, you've got two halves that make a whole. And in an early simulation of your first seven years, that reality is not necessarily in harmony right? Because you're being told what's wrong or right. And you're also being told what you can create. You're being told what is yes and no. And you're also being told how you can use your imagination and, and whether or not pretending is okay. Is singing okay? Is dancing okay? Is, is being an artist okay? All right? And so if, if you grew up in a reality where one side or the other was maybe created more of an atrophy where you had to turn your volume down, you had to turn your imagination down and you had to kind of like be an analytic or an academic in order to get the support and value from your family, then that's probably what you did because love and connection is the center most part of an inner child's ability to feel safe and feel connected and loved. So we do this without necessarily thinking it through. We do it without judgment. We do it out for love. And so as we begin to turn different parts of our functioning two halves that make a whole down, then we have a tendency to be more analytical or more academic, or we have a tendency to be more artsy fartsy, right? And so that, that, that you begins to lack balance at a very young age, and then you build a body out of that brain. You build a life out of it. You build attraction out of it. You build desire out of it. You build a lifestyle out of it. You build behavior out of it. And you build habits out of that. And so by the time you are, you know, in your 40s, how many seven-year cycles have you practiced, 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 trying to change the outside to fix the inside? Because when this is not balanced, right? It's not as easy to be like water and flow. We become more like ice. We become bitter, we become hardened, we become cold, we become methodical, we become analytical, we become reserved, we become reclusive, we become introverts, we become um, highly anxious and highly depressed. And we deal with that with outside remedies, outside connections, avoidance, disassociations, Therapy, drugs, alcohol, friends, and other security blanket addictions like shopping or traveling or busyness, okay? And so we are constantly trying to fix this balance on the inside of us by creating some extreme or balance on the outside, and it never works. Because when your brain is seeing itself through you, it sees itself as the projector that is shining from within, but what's happening within is gonna show up as the law of reflection. So tending to your outside reality before this is regulated and balanced is a recipe for 10 steps forward and 10 steps back. You're gonna find love and then you're gonna get that, that lesson of not feeling seen and heard after three to six months. Or you're gonna find that great job and coworker from hell. Or you're gonna get just enough money and you're gonna to start to feel unworthy even though you're working harder than most of your friends and family. You're going to rescue people as a form of, of experiencing value. You're going to be diving into service because you have this big why within you to be of help and to help people when secretly you are kind of wishing that someone would help you. And this is kind of how the story plays out. And that's usually when you find quantum fitness. And quantum fitness, again, is not necessarily a fitness program. It is about fitting all of you in embodying this body and allowing the true expression of your soul to be able to act out through your body. Which means if you, if you, the greatest analogy I can give you is like seeing a painter like Bob Ross paint 
beautiful forest and the way he does it, it it's so effortless and easy. You're, you have no doubt that you can't pick up a brush and do that. But then when you do and you pick it up, you realize that you don't have the strokes, you don't have the technique, you don't have the practice, you don't even necessarily have the understanding. And so yours does not look like that. And therefore we put that paintbrush down because it's not good enough. It's not good enough to even show anyone, even though we gave our, all of our effort and all of our heart and all of our focus for that time, we put it down. We put it down because our body doesn't know how to translate the soul's message yet. And that's when you want to say something and you understand something at like a, a analytical or more of a um, maybe even imaginary expression, but you don't have your words or your body doesn't do or run as fast as you know you can. It's like, I know I can fly, but my body doesn't even want to run. So it seems like we are in a tower intuitive reality where this isn't acting in my behalf as I wish. I'm not able to demonstrate my soul through this thing. And other people are not acting the way I want them to either. And so then it becomes very, very, very anxious way to live. And when we are not in a very well aligned alignment of our soul and body, then that's also gonna cause restrictions because the body starts to move slower and the soul starts to move faster. So it's like driving 150 miles an hour with your emergency brake on. And the more you try to meditate higher consciousness in a body filled with trauma and pain, the more you're going to naturally separate from the body. And you're going to notice that you feel very high and you feel very low. And that is because when your serotonin works off or that adrenaline stress, you know, goes through all of your sugars and cortisols that you are left needing a dopamine hit off of a person, place, or thing to make you feel better because the body is now stripped of all of its minerals and, and, and savory, delicious hormones that it's burned through from being in the higher space of love or connection or ideas or imagination or vision or meditation. So this is what I get in my emails every day is like, here and here. Where do I go? Like the bridge, the creating the bridge. How do we get the soul to slow down and the body to speed up into this union? And so what we have to do is in order for us to get the body to be able to speed up to where the soul is and run as fast as you want to run, we have to create some space. We have to get rid of some of that trauma. We have to let go of some of the pain. We have to open up the flow. We have to... Um, cleared out certain systems that are infected by basically lack of flow. If you know, if, if you're ever looked at a pond versus a river, the river is quite healthy, right? The pond got stuff growing in it, parasites, all kinds of stuff. So if you have bad posture, if you have like, you know, some sort of back injury or bodily energy or scar tissue or just mental trauma from childhood or even your adult years of being mistreated, you will have emotional blockages in your body and you will also have physical blockages in your body because when we have emotional trauma, we send, we tend to lean in to kind of create invisibility out of old shame or old humiliation. And we begin to form our top posture into someone who's constantly looking at their phone and when we create that spine with the frontal, port, the frontal, you know, that that whole like pump that you get in your back, well, guess what? Now your roots not being oxygenated, and that's going to cause depression pretty quickly, along with gut issues, nervous system issues, because it's now starting to glitch. And the reason why is because energy needs to flow. We need to have a river of consciousness, a river of flow. Your blood needs to flow. Your lymph needs to flow. Your meridians need to be opened and aligned, right? Your body needs to be digesting and metabolizing. And through stress and through trauma and through pain and through injuries and bad posture and through negative thinking, we build a body that is just getting older and slower and slower and slower and slower spirit that feels younger and younger and younger trying to run even further ahead and gets lost in the only thing it can which is a short-term addiction so now that we're kind of all waking up to this idea of that wow maybe maybe I'm not the issue maybe it's just my body my my home needs to be 
updated and it needs to be cleaned out so that it can run with my spirit. And that's exactly what it is. So it's basically quantum fitness is, is about fitness within. Because if I can fit my soul in the body, right, then I'm quite fit. But if I'm just working out as a form of punishment, or I'm going to do another detox because I don't feel good in my tummy, that might be creating another situation inside. If I open up a flow in one area, but I don't open up the whole area, it's just going to create a block somewhere else because it's a whole system. It's like the roots of a tree. Everything is interconnected. Now, just because we want to make this even more complicated, you're sitting in genetics from your bloodline, from the gender, from your ancestry, who also have predetermined, right, traumas, um, you know, genetical, genetic issues, right? Uh, and you have, you're sharing, you know, you're sharing the house that great, 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 great grandparents built, even though it's your design of your unique self, you're getting the DNA from mom and dad and whatever they have unfinished business, the process becomes yours, right? It's like inheriting all of that stuff. And so when we were creating quantum fitness, it was really about working with the entire system and working with all levels of our consciousness so that we are not leaving any part of you out. Yes, your ego is quite involved in that because ego is literally just what we, is another name for the pain, the block, the, the resistance, the you know denial, the rejection, the abandonment that you have experienced in your life, all right? That's all that is, it, but it becomes almost like another entity or a personality that now is a critical, negative, scared version of you that doesn't even want to run very fast because what's the point, right? We're just getting older anyways. And so it becomes more and more and more of a match to the pain in the body. And because an ego identity is basically your pain's personality, now your pain thinks. And so when you're getting really excited about an idea and all of a sudden that other thought comes through and says, we don't have the money to do that. Or remember, we've failed six times before. What are we thinking? Right? That's your pain talking. You are never in fear. Your soul is infinite and indestructible. It is also unlimited. So it will never feel fear. If anything is feeling fear, it's your body. And your body knew danger, but learned fear. Okay. So as the more and more we download to be afraid because of our own manifestations or what other people are manifesting, the slower our body works for us. And the slower the body works for us, the more of a resistance it creates because the soul is trying to go faster. And this is what causes rapid aging. All right. The body was not designed to age as fast as we age. Not so ever, because the brain is only as old as you believe it is. And the reason I know that is because I have a device in quantum fitness where we actually have you stand on it and it measures the frequencies of your entire systems and it tells us what age your body thinks it is. And 95% of the time, your body's older than even your age because it's slower and your soul is faster. Have you noticed the older you get, the more childlike you feel in your soul, but you're in a body that's going slower and that resistance creates rapid aging, okay? Also, stress, adrenaline in the body, in the mind, not running a marathon, but just overthinking creates rapid aging, okay? So quantum fitness is the program of healing the pain body. All right, eliminating the pain that's sitting in your body from trauma, physical trauma, emotional trauma, and chemical trauma. Okay, because everything leaves a bl blueprint. Scar tissue blocks energy. Okay, bad posture blocks energy. Negative thinking blocks energy. You are energy. You're trying to flow, right? You're trying to work with your chakra systems. You're trying to work with all of your, your different systems into creating a healthy vehicle that can run. But just like a horse, someone broke the stallion within you. And now all you are is allowed to do is run around in a pen with all your zoomies that you now use through addiction or some sort of forward excitement, future anticipation. Most of us get our zoomies out by future anticipation of excitement that never happens. But 
It's a dopamine hit. So if you go through quantum fitness, you're going to learn all about your hormones and you're going to, you're going to learn number one, how to turn your stress every day, kids, bills, laundry, the world. You're going to learn how the first thing you're going to do is learn how to use your stress hormones that are causing rapid aging, digestive issues, slow metabolism, headaches, body aches and pains, inflammation, all kinds of, in, you know, in infertility, um, immunity issues, autoimmune issues, allergies, sensitivities, you're going to use all of those things as viable energy to de-stress. So we're going to use stress to de-stress. We're going to use the very thing that's stressing you out and we're going to use it differently. That is the first thing you're going to do in quantum fitness. Okay. You're going to master your stress hormones and you're going to use that stress that's in your body you're going to get your zoomies out through the channeled experience of channeling your emotional and physical pain through instead of collecting it into overthinking and slouching and hiding. We're going to do this in a very safe space. That's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to learn that. Secondly, you're going to go through a protocol of another six different rooms that you will visit to have a different physical, emotional, and chemical experience that is going to pressurize and eliminate the, the pain and the pressure in your body that is holding on. It's acting as that emergency break while you're trying to run 150 miles an hour. It is the frustration within you. We're going to use what the body is made of, frequency and vibration. Every organ has a frequency. Every system has a vibration. What we're going to do is we're going to match frequencies and vibrations of pain to eliminate pain, fight fire with fire. We're going to do this with light, sound, and temperature. All right. We're going to adjust the temperature to move into different resonant points of the physical body. And that right there is going to allow you to begin to let go in a very safe environment, the pain and the baggage that you've been holding in a non-manifestational way. So instead of having to get your heart broken again or go through bankruptcy again, you will we will simulate these type of vibrations in a light, sound, and temperature regulated system that pushes the body into the threshold of the same feeling without having to get involved in a story or have to go out into the world and get your feelings hurt. We're going to uproot those negative feelings and we're going to purify them in that room. And every room that we have is based on the understanding that your brain is a bio computer. So we work with each brain wave and we get into each brain wave and we clear out the glitches, this misfunction or the regulatory system of being able to flow from beta all the way to delta in between that it come back to gamma instead of staying in beta, which is defense, which is fight or flight, which is constant yes and no, wishy-washy, lack of trust, lack of indecision making, and ultimately highs and lows. We're going to basically rebuild and rehabilitate the brain. This is where all the magic is, okay? Through temperature, through light, sound, frequencies, all right? That is where we're going to go with that. Now, that's going to get us to the next level, okay? We're going to work from the, the skin all the way down into the bone marrow from each room. And when we get into that space where we're now reaching the plasma, the lymph, the lymph energy, right? That blood flow, that the way that your muscles are metabolizing and, and using energy, the cellular memory, what your reactive state is versus your response, your awareness level, we're going to then purify that particular part of your system. Now, each part of you, blood represents the soul, plasma represents the spirit, right? And this is bringing kind of the idea of the metaphysics of quantum fitness altogether, where it's very based in quantum biology, but it is very understandable through your spiritual journey of how you have become so aware, okay? So as we move into that second room, we're really starting to get into deeper levels of your body and your body's stories and your body's traumas. And now we're gonna be working in that like bloodline ancestral energy that you have basically 
you know, you've been given to you uh, from the gift of your gender, of your bloodline, and we're going to start working to bring that into balance. We're not killing the ego, we're integrating it. And the definition of integration to me is to mix all together and to create something brand new, right? You are half dark, you have are light, have light. Dark doesn't mean evil, it means absence of love, okay? Pain has created that part of you. Your ancestors have that sitting in their genetics and you are pure positive light and energy as well. So mixed together, what it is, is it creates a beautiful, a beautiful expression of your own art because the part of you that feels unloved is now met by the part of you that is loved and don't actually need it from outside of you, which is amazing. So we begin to start working in the purification of the physical vibrational lower density bodies. That's going to be your hardware. That's going to be your matter, your, your physical representation of bone and blood and marrow and cells and all those beautiful things you can see under a microscope. And that's where we really start to move into the conclusion of purification of the physical body. That is going to take us to the more um, etherical spaces now where we start to work on this kind of idea of this inner child. This inner child is the conception of the dark part of you and the light part of you. It wants to connect and love with everyone. It loves mommy and daddy, which is I love the good parts. I love the bad parts. I want us all just to get along. I want music. I want dance. I want friends. I want nature. I want love. And that part of you can now start being summoned from the inside of the jail cell that was blocking all the flow. Your energy is going to be able to move. And then that energy be able to move, those zoomies are going to come out and we need to direct that energy into a channel. That channel is going to be done through play therapy at an accelerated rate based on your unique ways that you like to play or the things that are intuitive to you that's going to give you an expression point. This is where the butterfly effect comes from. You come in as a caterpillar, you go through your cocooning effect in room one, two, and three, which is zero point, beta, and alpha. You're going to then enter into the theta room. The theta room is when the bridge between real and imaginary is a thin veil. That allows you to step in as creator of your own reality. And then from that place of I am love or I am new or I am, you know, not weighted down by pain anymore. I'm going to have a clearer channel of how I want to create my unique expression. My body is going to be lighter. I'm going to be faster. It's going to be healthier. I'm going to be more aware. My eyesight's going to improve. My, uh, my intuition is going to improve. My chakras are going to be aligned. My blood is going to be flowing. My plasma is going to be clear. And therefore, when I move into this idea of the theta space, I will be able to start creating again instead of, I really want to do this, but I'm not good at it. I really want to have this, but I don't have money. I really want to be loved, but I'm not worthy. I really wish my parents would see me, but no one hears me, you see. So on the flip side of transcending pain, your desires are going to change because if you woke up feeling loved and valued every day, you might not have the same desires, okay? So this is going to move us into this accelerated ability to choose. Theta is another word for I choose, all right? And as I begin to choose and decide and discern with no backstory, with no pain body, with no ego heckling my ear and being critic, I can then create like a child. I can be a rookie. I can be brand new. I can be something that I've always wanted to be. That's going to move us into the gamma space of I know. I know knowledge that's downloaded from the, from the field of infinite possibilities, from the quantum field, from the place of knowing gamma is the frequency of knowing. So if you meet these channels or these psychics or these people that just know, it is because their brain has the ability to move into the gamma frequency. And that is nothing more than a radio station that it connects with the highest frequency. That is what they call the God frequency or the I know. Now you're channeling angels or you're channeling your true higher self. And now you trust yourself, you trust others, you know yourself, therefore you know others. You see your pain as a transcendent form of turning pain into purpose and passion. And now your awareness has increased because your body is not heavy. It is not slow. It is not weak. It does not feel old. It feels more of the age of your body. And so then what we do is once we move back to the zero point room to end the process, we collect our data. We do a three, six, nine breath activation, a two point quantum meditation on a balance board 
balancing the hemispheres, setting a new intention, getting back on our measurements, to check in our cellular age, and see that age dropping in just a few hours. So yes, this is very futuristic, okay? It, it's also based in thousands of years of understanding that the frequency and vibration of plants and medicines and light and sound, okay, and environment all are the same things that put you into pain are gonna be the same things that take you out, all right? This will allow you to then walk out into your physical world as a creator instead of a limiter. This is gonna walk you out and say, I'm allowed to be me versus what am I allowed to be? It's going to completely change your entire outlook. And as I've taken more and more and more and more people through this accelerated one week experience, what I am finding is and getting is inventors, peacemakers, people who are playing and being quite abundant on it, age dropping, cellular age dropping, hydration increasing, visceral fat decreasing, memory increasing, but memories are changing. They're not associating with pain anymore. The pain starts to act as the lesson and doesn't have a negative connotation associated with it. They actually start to recall happy memories that their brain could not find because let's be honest, pain is dense, it's heavy. Light and love is light. It doesn't stick to you the way that, you know, uh, someone making fun of you does or someone humiliating you does or someone guilting or shaming you does. Okay, so those type of energies are no longer in your body and therefore you are more free. This is about creating a sovereign space for you to basically manifest from. Your soul has the capability to manifest with this body. By activating the left and right hemisphere of the body, it sends a basically a spark down to the heart connection. That connection moves into the root and sacral of creation itself, moves into demonstration and all the way up into the pineal gland that is your personal free Wi-Fi. And that Wi-Fi is what speaks to other humans or other things or other places and beckons them through electromagnetic energy. You are a living magnet. And how you connect right, is here, not here. Your mind will never connect to anything new. It will connect to something old or something that feels familiar, whether it's good or bad. So your heart connection is going to have the things you seek, CQ, like an electromagnetic magnet that is being summoned by your blood, all right? And that pineal gland energy is on, your Wi-Fi is connected, you have access to all that you are, your unlimited capabilities, this is where we can regenerate our own DNA and turn on our genetics to incorporate future potentials of what the soul can create because the soul is infinite and it would like to create infinitely with your body. And when it can't, there's a discord. It feels like you're fast and slow, fatigue and overthinking. And that's what you're going to experience if you have been separating more and more and more as you got older. Totally normal, unfortunately, in our society but not, it's not great for evolution, okay? So this particular video is for those of you who are signed up, have gone through your intake and are ready to attend a retreat or a physical experience in one of our quantum fitness biohacking centers. And, and so if you have, then you are ready to go. So there's a couple of things that we're going to get you ready for. I call it what to expect when you're expecting and the nesting phase. There is going to be a one week getting your body ready for this type of treatment. And it's going to be about basically eliminating some certain things that you might be addicted to that are going to slow you down, right? We're going to change a couple of key things into your diet, but I can't say what those are in this video because it's very inherent to you. You have a different biochemistry than the next person. So I can't say, hey, you got to stop eating sugar and you got to stop doing that. It's all based in your particular pain body and how it's assimilating data and nutrition. So some people are going to be basically asked to eliminate certain dietary situations and some people aren't. And it has nothing to do with who's better or worse. You'll get that direct information from your, your guide, your mentor who is taking you through, okay? You will be eliminating something though that is going to start getting that kind of 
crutch away from you that but we are we live in the methadone effect so we replace it with something even better that you can hold on to because it's all about security blankets you're using that money or that boyfriend or that house or that job as a security blanket because you don't feel safe so we're going to take something that you might be using that's keeping your pain higher inflammation higher gut more irritated and we're going to replace it with something even better that you can start weaning yourself off with to give yourself for those 10 days before you come into your biohacking experience. And the most important thing is bottom line. If you brought a newborn baby home, which is going to be you, you're going to want a clear space. I have been quantum clearing houses for years. And if I could tell you that your body is a representation of your second body, then you might pay more attention to what is going on in your home. And so I take you through a 90-day house clearing consistent routine protocol to keep the vibration of your home very, very high, very fresh, very open, very light, very less trauma, okay? And that allows you, who's going to come in as the butterfly, to get to know yourself in a clean, safe environment, just like you left, to put yourself into an environment that even if you're on the road and traveling, we can give you a travel guide to your home because your home is your sanctuary, it's your creative space, it's your resting space, it's your imagination place, it's the place for you to keep your affairs in order, and it is also a place for you to connect with other loving members of your family, and your home is just as important as your first home, which is your body. So you will be given a custom home clearing that's going to take you through certain things that we will change with frequency and sound and vibration and color and temperature, okay? So if you have a nervous system that is extremely damaged, being in air conditioning 24 seven a day is not good for you, at least for the first 90 days. You would not wanna bring a baby home into a freezer. So you have to think of yourself as this new version of you that is going to be able to attempt to regulate. And we want you into a very balanced environment, not an extreme hot or cold, but a balanced environment. Balance is going to create new levels of safety for you. This is going to be done very um, personal because what is going on in your home is very personal to the next. And that is, it's essential to bring this new version of you home. When I say new version, I cannot specify how new you are going to be, but it is going to be the soul inside of you that's been dying to come out. That's the biggest heartbreak you've ever had is that you can't express yourself. That version of you will be present and it will want to create. It doesn't want to look at pictures on your wall that maybe look pretty, but you were in a horrible fight with your partner every time it walks by and re-downloads into your subconscious. You're bringing in a brand new space to a brand new space, and therefore you have amazing results to not only bring all new neural pathways, fresh cellular memory, new muscle memory, fresh collagen, clear lymph, clear blood, clear awareness, new strength, younger cellular age, more muscle memory in the brain, coherence between the left and right masculine and feminine, core activated, root opened up and thriving pineal gland on, bringing it into a home that feels similar. This is going to be a very fast experience for you. Now, we know the longer we have had trauma in the body, the more it moves into our outside expression because it's heavy. It starts to take up space. The longer you've had trauma, the more imprinted it is in your etherical space, which means that just like on your computer, everything you put in goes up into the cloud because there's more room and storage up there. So the longer you hold trauma, it starts to fester from your cellular memory into your muscle memory. It goes into the tissue, it goes into the molecules. Once it goes into the molecules, it'll go into your subatomic space. As soon as it goes into your subatomic space, it's, into, it's in the internet. As soon as it's in the internet, now Facebook knows you want a new rug, but also your trauma is in the cloud. So if we spend seven days, six days clearing out your body and all your trauma is still in the cloud, if you do not change some of your behaviors, what you look at, what you say, what you see, what you smell, what you taste, what you do, eventually within 90 days, 50% of that trauma will re-download. Waste of time, waste of money, waste of you. 
don't do that. Instead, we have a way to basically throw that deleted information into the trash, just like you have to do with your emails. It's in, it's in, the, it's in the trash, it's not gone, right? We throw it away by practicing new behavior. Best apology, new behavior, right? We are going to take our love back for our body and we're gonna really see what this new Ferrari can do instead of this old Buick pickup truck that we've been driving. And we're gonna take care of it like a Ferrari. So we have a 90 day protocol on how to take care of the new body. It's going to be things that you do in your home, boundaries you create with certain toxic people around you. This will all be mentored and it will be done safely. We're not creating wars in your family here. We're not telling people to get away from you. In a loving, conscious communication, we are going to share what it is that we need and want in a the most loving possible childlike way that does not trigger other people's pain bodies around you. Because let's be honest, the brighter your light, the more you're going to trigger pain bodies around you. And you're going to want to run 150 miles an hour. You're going to have a body that can do that. You might want to be able to be safely to have the road. You would not take a Ferrari out on a, a dirt road with rocks, nails, and glass. Wouldn't be safe. So we got to create a new road so that you can start going as fast as that spirit wants to go and your body can start learning on the job. Ooh, who am I? Who am I? Look how fast we can go. Look at how good we are. We're actually moving quicker. We're learning. And we're learning at an accelerated rate because you're returning back to that newborn state of self-awareness where then you can move into self-discovery and you can move back up to the seven-year cycle from this new you. And all you've had to do is make some little home changes using frequency, sound, color, light, taste, touch, feel, and doing a perimeter check of where do we need to create some healthy boundaries that protect everybody in this healing situation, in this thriving and integration? And how do we keep the, the pain body in the cloud so it can disappear is by creating new neural pathways and practicing and practicing and practicing them until we have new behavior. New behavior will create new habits. Habits are what create your reality. So hopefully this little intake video was helpful of what to expect when you're expecting. You will get your personal list of food recommendations to limit, okay? I'm not going to say avoid because we're not trying to be perfect here. I'm not trying to, there's no cold turkey necessary. Once you get done with the program, if it's not something that is viable, viable to your success, your body won't want it. Your body will not crave it anymore. It only craves it because it's a secondary dopamine hit or a instant gratification to numb the pain of a lack of joy, love, or abundance. If you have love and abundance, you won't need those things or you'll eat them and they're, okay, I'm done. It won't be addictive. It won't be obsession. Okay, same with people and places and things. Just trust me when I say this, you're going to be and want different things, but it's gonna be more about expressing yourself than needing something to express yourself or having something that lets you express yourself because you will be what you have and what you need and what you want, all right? So you'll get the individual list from me, all right? You'll get your 10 day before um, your nesting experience, how to take care of your body, how to get ready, how to get your body ready. And then you will have your, um, your to-do list of your travel and accommodations, things like that. Then you will have your 90 day protocol. Most of you are going to get a 90 day protocol, but some of you are going to get a one month uh, mentored um, like coaching. Okay. And that's going to help you really solidify more of the emotional or the psychological experience, kind of like having someone there with you to this will help you if you are feeling alone or if you don't have a partner that's supportive or you're traveling a lot, this will kind of help you create that consistency to yourself. Act as your mirror and your guide until you can get onto that other side and take those training wheels off, okay? So that is what we are going to be um, uh, experiencing here. So hopefully this made a little bit more sense for you guys who are going, what is this that, you know, what we're getting ourselves into here? I've also made a lot of other videos that go with this, and hopefully you have the opportunity to take your time and listen to those. But if you are if you are joining us on our Ireland or our Spain retreat in September of 2022, this video is going to be for you. If you're coming to Kansas City to biohack with me, or you're going to Canada to biohack with Danny and Jamie, then this video is for you as well. And we are very excited to be your doulas 
and your midwives of your new self. And we are uh, very excited for this for this experience with you. So until then, uh, you will receive individual emails of specifics because every story is different. Although we're all going through the same issues, time, relationships, health, and money, we have a different storyline. And with a different storyline, we're playing a different character and different characters is going to be eating, doing, feeling, and thinking different things. Therefore, it has to be custom. So this is the kind of a general experience for all of you who are thinking about biohacking with me or with our team here. And, and you guys will get your specifics in your email. All right. Until then, I'll see you guys soon.